Okay, we got a stainless steel plate over here. Uh, unfortunately, this thing is not uh, one inch thick. It's about three quarter inch thick. So it won't be like a really a side by side comparison to the other place where we shot that they were one inch or one and a half inch thick. I did have an inch and a quarter thick stainless steel, but I forgot to grab that. And uh, we'll shoot it with different rounds, see what it does. Okay, let's get back there and see what happens. First round is gonna be the 22 long rifle out of the Walter P22. <laughs> okay, nothing happened at all. We hit it one right over there, one here. Not even a mark on it. Yes, not not really if you think about it looks like even it was hit with the water balloon <laughs> Nada next round Okay for this test we're gonna do a nine millimeter and we're using a Glock 19 with silencer co Suppressor on it and we are not gonna need ear protection Just ready if you want to leave yours on go for it Ready ready Go back a little more <laughs> Oh, we are clear. Three. Oh, the aim is good. Yeah, of course my aim is good. In this one, not in the. Uh, not in the other ones. Huh? <laughs> okay, we hit it, and wow, nothing happened to it. That bullet disintegrated on the surface. Oh, the stainless steel. Oh, look, there's <laughs> there's a piece of that nine millimeter here, just ready. Yes, a little. Oh. Not even. There's no penetration. It just disintegrated on the surface. You can probably just sand this down and you won't even notice anything happen. Here's a piece of that 9mm, just fell right over here. Right there. Hey! It's hot! No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so that was for that. And now we're gonna do 300 blackout. Oh! For this next round, we're gonna use 300 blackout using this 300 blackout pistol with the folding stock. And uh, it's got a suppressor from Silencer Co. It's in there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Right over there. I don't want to point the rifle at you just ready. But there it is. With a seven and a half inch barrel. Okay. Come on, move back. No ear protection for this either. It's going to be silent. Okay, go back if you want more. Ready? Ready! Fire in the hole. We are clear. Wow. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Not even a single millimeter or half a millimeter uh, penetration or scratch on this thing. There's no way. This is a really good uh, stainless steel. This is the good one. Wow. I don't know what kind is this. This is almost better than the titanium, I want to say. Impressive, very impressive. Huh. Okay, next round is gonna be the 762 by 39. Got your ears? Yes. No suppressor for this. I need one actually. Two just for fun. Clear. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Almost a quarter inch. Yeah. It's about five, six millimeters deep. Maybe even seven. No, oh, I like five, six millimeters deep. Now we'll do AR-15. I'm using the Colt AR-15 and we're doing the 5.56 five, round. That's ready? Yes. Got your ears? Yes. Okay. I'm ready. Womanos. <laughs> that thing came back and hit me in my neck. Ah. 
clear. I think I missed a couple of rounds, but a couple of them landed right over there. Yeah, so this 5.56 five, went in deeper than the 7.62 by 39. And there's a 7.62 by 39. You know, let's talk about this 300 blackout. I just remembered I was using uh, suppressed ammo. Uh, I don't know, they, they probably have less gunpowder in those cases. Probably it wasn't going as fast as the other ones. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not expert in this. As always, your opinion probably more important than mine. There's a lot of experts on YouTube. <laughs> but the reason I think that uh, 300 Blackout didn't make any holes on top is because of a low power uh, suppressed ammo I was using for that suppressed rifle. That 300 black, I should have made a bigger hole on this, but nothing happened. Okay, not sure if that made sense. Let's do Desert Eagle 50 AE and then one round, and then we'll move on to the no, 50. No, 50, okay. <laughs> All right, Desert Eagle next. <laughs> next, we're gonna do the Desert Eagle, the gold Desert Eagle 50 AE, and I'm using these 50 AE Underwood ammo. It's thanks to them, they hooked it up. We'll do one round. And there it is. That your ears? Yes. Okay, here we go. Wow. I didn't miss. Clear. So I shot it right over here. And looks like nothing happened almost. Not even maybe one millimeter surface damage. That's about it. It defragmented on the surface. That's a big word for me. <laughs> Defragmented. I usually say evaporated. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, we're gonna be using a Serbu BFG 50A and we'll do a Ralphus round. These things, as always, are super deadly, super explosive, and super penetrating. <laughs> they got a tungsten cord. Ready? Ready. All right, here we go with the green tip. Just play, what do you think is gonna happen? I don't, it's stuck, maybe it's stuck over there. I think it's gonna go through. All right, fire in the hole. <laughs> Clear. Wow, it didn't move. <laughs> Put a hole in there. No. Yeah. Went in, this whole plate uh, turned black from that explosion on the tip of that uh, Ralphus round. So there's it. There's that. Just very wait. The best way to demonstrate is if I stick something from the back to the front. There you go. Yeah, go through. Let me see in the back. There you go. Came out. Man. Yeah. That 50 BMG is no joke. So let's put this. It's thin steel, but it's pretty. It's pretty good. You know what? If this was, um, if this was at least an inch or maybe inch and a half, like the other plates, like the AR500 steel that we shot, it's a possibility it would have stopped it. Let's go armor piercing black tip. Okay, so now we're gonna do the black tip. This is the armor piercing. Fire in the hole. Oh my, you hear that? Yeah, I went in right next to it. Come on, come back. Right let's, let's shoot it one more time. Of course. This is the armor piercing incendiary tracer. We are hot. Fire in the hole.
Wow, all those three rounds came out. So that was the Rafis. We had an armor piercing and then the armor piercing tracer. All three went in and out. So maybe we should bring a thicker uh, plate. All right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Let's go.